So those of you who watched the Gara Dry video will remember that Jeff, uh, it was his house, and uh, we solved that problem for him, the stuff coming under the garage door. But he's got another little thing that is niggling him here. So we've come to have a look at it. It's actually to do with the insulation. So my daughter's bedroom is under the end of this wall. At yeah. the end of this house, we have a gable, and I am pretty sure there is no insulation in that end of the house. What because you can just feel it. You go into the daughter's bedroom, you go to this end of the wall, you can just feel it is much more colder than the rest of the room. Do you know what? Looking at it, you've got no signs of any mold, any condensation. I've got a few different instruments here. This is the Bosch thermal imaging camera. This will give us a reading, uh, tell us whether there's any cold bridging. In other words, any areas where the insulation's missing. It measures the temperature in the room the surface temperature and gives you the difference. So if it goes up into the red, we're in trouble. So we're in the green now. Still in the green, nothing showing up crazy there. This is the clear. Just to prove this thing's working, we got Jeff, look how hot he is there. A lot of people love this flare. His head. Is he hot or not? His brain is hot, his he's, top half is He's well, an alien what we can see there. If we were looking, seeing any blue, we would be concerned. There's a little bit. Small spots where the insulation is not down. There's a little bit just here. That's not unusual. When you get a transition, if they've put, say, glass wall in the top, say, whatever, rock wall, whatever, in the top, and then it comes down here, they might have an air gap coming up, ventilating all the way through. I don't know, I haven't seen what's outside here, Actually, we can look at the neighbours probably because they're all similar, these houses. Um, so, so sometimes they didn't tuck it properly down in those little bits. So that, that, that would be a small bit. I'm not alarmed by that, but uh, you just see that little spot, kind of there. This is just one that you plug in the bottom of your phone. This is for an Android phone here. It gives you a slightly different reading, but in some ways it's a lot easier to understand. And you can see that we've got a difference between the ambient temperature in the room and those spots there. It's coming out 15, that's all right. Let's go up there. Let's go over here and find that little cold spot if we can, there it is. There's a cold spot, it comes down, sometimes comes down to 13. This is actually a fifth of the price. That's over a thousand pounds for the FLIR and this little baby, 200 and older, I think. We did do a review of this Top Don one, so you can have a look at that and see what you think. It's always difficult finding your way around the house, working out what's where, but this seems to me, is that just a void with nothing in it? I'm pretty sure it is. That's a huge wasted space, isn't it, in a mm. modern home? I mean, normally you'd have that as a bit of storage space, accessible by an eaves cover, but they clearly haven't done that in this house, have they? So there must be big areas behind there where you could, um, you could have a bit of Airbnb. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, interesting. Okay, look. All the way along the top here, a bit of cold bridging, a bit in the corner. Right, so that's a gable end. Yep. And the room upstairs starts about what, there somewhere? Yeah, about there. So that bit is a bit of flat ceiling, they would have put insulation in. And I think once again, what's happening is that they haven't pushed it down in the ends, that's fine, they want the ventilation, but the insulation that's in the wall, whatever that is, I don't know what that is, what you've got in the wall. I was told there wall. was insulation in the wall. I'm Some not convinced. Sort, maybe, maybe rock wall or something. Um, it, but it's clearly not pushed up right at the top. It's no. always in the details. It's always like people do a great job, all those bits as they're building the wall, but just at that top bit, the, the brickies are finished, carpenters come along. Whose job is it? This is, this is the problem with the building industry time and time again is these little things, they fall between two different trades. I'm afraid in, in modern house building, mass house building, it definitely isn't done. And that's the kind of thing you get, you know? I mean, it's not the end of the world, but it is annoying. Mm. And like you say, in the, the very cold weather, you can feel the difference you notice in bits of... Short of opening that up, and, and actually I would think that it's, there's a case for opening that, that void there, putting a little hatch in, you can buy them ready-made, they just go in, got a little draft proof door on them and then we could have a look in there. And, you know, what is this, 20 odd years old, this yeah. house? Okay, so just over 20 years old, the standards in insulation since then have gone up and up and up, and we're now talking about maybe 11, 12 inches of, of fiberglass in your loft. 
as opposed to what you've probably got maybe four. I doubt it's even that much. You know, that, that's a huge difference, isn't it? So if we could get access to that and top it up, you definitely feel the difference and it would you know, save money. I mean, it's probably the best payback of any insulation you can do is that fiberglass in the loft. See what we've got, this is the flat roof, so there'll be a bit of loft insulation in there. So if you are thinking of using one of these thermal imaging cameras, you can hire these if you like, or buy the cheaper one. It's a good idea to do it on a cold day. So maybe in the morning, cold morning, have the house heated. So you need two or three days for the house to be heated properly. So have the heating on, you know, as you would normally for two or three days. If you've got a cold day, do it in the morning and go around and take the readings because then you get the biggest contrast and you'll be able to see where the thermal bridge is. As soon as the sun comes up, warms one of the elevations of the house, the reading won't be so dramatic. But what we're trying to do is, uh, you know, the sort of thing you find at night time, for example, when the sun's gone in and then you've got that contrast between the two. So what we're finding is it's along the edges, all the way along the edges. So you're probably all the way around the house, that top bit where the wall insulation finishes and the roof insulation hasn't taken over. There's a bit of a gap there and um, it's not terrible. So there's the roof window. You would expect that to be not as warm, but if you look just above that showing it's cold, there's a bit of insulation missing just at that point again. That's it, give it a little bit, just in case. That's how oh, it's perfect, mate. Straight in, no kissing. So there's the plasterboard. Then we've gone for a bit of Celotex insulation, which we have to foam up. So what we can see there is exactly what you were talking about. There is where the loft insulation finishes. That is where the brick wall comes up for the gable and they finish the brick wall. But that looks like a bit of Celotex insulation. There's a bit of fiberglass. There's the fiberglass. So that gives me some indication it's not very conclusive but i think it's evidence enough it would be worth us putting some kind of access hatch in here you can get them ready made if we get one of those and we come back and we put it in it's only a question of cutting out between normally they will go between the studs sometimes you cut a stud out and put them slightly larger anyway easy enough then Let's once we get in there we'll be able to upgrade that loft insulation so come back and see us soon on skill builder we're going to be doing more with jeff